Can you give a rousing Edinburgh People's Festival welcome for David Perrow? Thank you very much, Kevin. I think uh, worldwide must mean Scotland and England. But, uh, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, um, some burn songs and some other songs as well. Um, this. Uh, this song was written by Burns in uh, the 1790s at the height of the abolitionist movement. Um, as you know, two years ago we were uh, commemorating the, the 200th anniversary of the abolition of the transatlantic slave trade. Um, just a couple years before writing this song, Burns himself was actually going to go work in Jamaica on a, um, on a plantation. He was actually going to be involved with the slave trade, uh, but then his poetry was published um, to great critical acclaim and it, it enabled him to stay at home in Scotland and to, to earn a living as a poet. Um, but a few years after uh, this near slavery experience, he wrote this song, which I think vindicates uh, his earlier possible involvement with the trade. It's called The Slave's Lament. It's got a, um, a kind of refrain that repeats itself, so uh, do join in if you feel like it. Ancient glory. 
where we lean take our Scottish name, sick famed in martial story. No sarcrums o'er the Solway sands, <coughs> tweed runs to the ocean, to mark where England's province stands. Sick a parcel of rogues in a nation. What force or guile could not subdue through many warlike ages? His rock knew by a coward few for hirelings' traitors' wages. The English steel we could disdain, secure in valor's station. English gold has been our pay. Sick a parcel of robes in a nation. Oh, what e I have seen the day that treason thus could sell us. My old grey heat had laid in clay, we grew sad and loyal Wallace. But pith and poor till my last hour, I'll make this declaration. We're bought and sold for English gold. Set a parcel.